Uh, this one's for Nobox 7 on the subject of heat exchanges. I was thinking um, you probably already worked this out with your um, water chiller tower. You could basically just hook your little AC pump up to the inlet and outlet of the chiller coil inside your water, water cooler and just cycle your electrolyte or whatever you're using in your HHO cell or whoever's building a dry fusion reactor or something like that. Uh, the other one, basically what I was thinking of building for an injection moulding machine to chill the dye, uh, basically it's just using a standard air conditioning condensing unit and this is just a stainless steel tank filled with oil to act as a equaliser, a temperature equaliser and transfer and basically you have a wraparound evaporative coil to suck the heat out of it and you have another coil similar to one of these sitting in the centre that you can circulate your water through and the oil will just act as an equaliser and give you a bit more control over the temperature I realise if the coils were simply soldered together parallel it would only take a couple of seconds of loss of control of temperature to actually freeze the pipes and cause a stoppage in the system. Another one was this transmission cooler from my car's old radiator. I think it's solid aluminium or brass or something. Uh, that could be dunked in a small tank with a small evaporator coil and say a condensing unit from a vending machine. I don't know how readily available old vending machines are but I had the chance to rip one out a while ago. Unfortunately it was so low on gas it was pretty much useless but the whole lot came out together. The condensing unit was sitting in the bottom of the machine and the evaporator coil is probably no bigger than this under the can compartment and it all came out together without having to unhook anything and degas it. But that's just a basic idea that I came up with a while ago. You just have a thermostat probe in the oil and whatever temperature the oil is at it's going to be transferred to the water going through the coil in the centre. The um, evaporators will just be a standard unit item from either the condensing unit or just something I can find in the field. And from there the water that comes out of the coil will go off to the mould in the injection moulding machine and just cut the temperature down and decrease the or decrease the cooling time for the parts. Save a bit of time, make a bit of money, basically. Just thought I'd show you that one again. You probably already figured this out for yourself, but just in case somebody else might like the idea. I realise these are water fountain refrigerated water fountains often have a tap or something on top, but you could just rip that off and put your uh, outlet fitting straight onto it or just seal the whole thing in and just put, hook straight off the outlet of the uh, chiller drum because everything's already there, it's already built you might as well make use of it uh, I don't have a digital stopwatch or anything so I'm going to use the digital camera as my stopwatch for this compressor charging test charging started
definitely not the fastest thing in the world, but it's quiet. Each of those compressors is rated to about, I think about half or three quarter horsepower each. That's in refrigeration terms anyway, I mean probably not the equivalent of a three quarter horsepower air compressor. Piston's only one inch in diameter and the stroke's probably not much more than an inch in length, so it's very small. charge. 